Hello everyone. Welcome in this video tutorial on modeling of disorder of nitrate anion in a nickel plus 2 complex. I hope this video tutorial finds you all good and healthy. The crystallographic programs used are OLEX2, Selexel, FragmentDB, which is a fragment database and fitting procedure for OLEX2 and Mercury. All these programs are available free of charge for the academic user. So let's start with the refinement part. So from here we are going to join the refinement. This is a nickel 2 plus complex crystallizes in tetragonal space group I41 by A with only 1 by 4th molecule in the S metric unit. The remaining molecule is generated from this by the crystallographic fourfold axis. So up to now all the known hydrogen atom of the main moiety are refined isotropically and still we are missing with the latest nitrate anion on some latest solvent. So first of all I am going to press this button to compact the structure and here I am getting some nitrate like moiety and some water in the lattice. So first of all as a routine refinement what I have to do I am going to model the nitrate and the lattice water molecule. For this I am using the program fragment db but before that let's refine the present structure and now the shift is 0 and the refinement is converged. So now compact the molecule and now this is the best view. Okay. So this seems to be nitrate and this is water. So I am going to fit from the fragment db. Here I am searching for the nitrate. Here I can find the nitrate nitrate anion. So I am going to fit at first at general position with full occupancy. So part 0, free variable 1, everything is default. I am going to fit. This nitrogen should be here. This oxygen should be here. This oxygen should be here. Now it is almost fitted. I can move it little bit with mouse. Yes, now it seems to be okay. So press escape and I am going to refine with control R. So you can see the thermal R very big. Although the R factor is decreases, but the thermal R too big. So first I am going to delete this nitrate. I am going to refine again. Yes, and I am going to compact. So, my first question is how many nitrate in the lattice or in the asymmetric unit? As you can see, the metal ion is nickel 2 plus, and this nickel plus 2 is only 1 and 4th occupied. The occupancy is only 1 by 4. So, if I visualize the structure with some program like Mercury, let's see the visualization in the Mercury. So, this is a symmetric unit. If I display the symmetry elements, so you can see this nickel atom and this oxygen atom lies on a fourfold axis. The red line is actually a fourfold axis and this pink colored plane is glide plane A and the dots are the inversion center. So clearly you can see the nickel plus 2 is lies on a fourfold axis and it is only one and fourth occupied. So okay let's come to the refinement part then. But before that, 
how many nitrate should be present in the S metric unit. Okay, so in the S metric unit, one nickel plus two is present on the crystallographic fourfold axis. Therefore, the total positive charge is plus two. The charge on nickel plus two and divided by multiplicity of the crystallographic axis. Here it lies on a fourfold axis. So overall charge in the S metric unit is not plus two. It is only plus one and a half, plus one by two. So to neutralize this plus to balance this plus and half charge, the positive charge we need only half of nitrate. As we know. The fully occupied nitrate has minus one charge, so half occupied nitrate has minus half charge in the lattice since the ligand is neutral. There we have to refine the nitrate in lattice. We have with half occupancy only. So therefore, we have to refine the nitrate in the lattice with only half occupancy, and this half occupied nitrate is also disordered. So let's come to the refinement part again. So this nitrate is only half occupied. So what I have to do? I am using only half occupancy. Here it is 0.5. So I am going to fit this nitrogen here, this oxygen here, and then I will move with the mouse. Now it is almost almost fitted nicely and escape. Now if I am going to refine with control R, now you can see the thermal R reasonably. But now you can see some electron density in between the oxygen atom. So this nitrate is disordered. So how to model disorder? Let's use the part. Uh, functions for part function part 1 and part 2 so let's define with part 1 and part 2 so i am going to delete it first and i am going to refine with control r let's compact it and now this should be part 1 free variable now i am choosing 2 and occupancy is only 0 0.5. As I know, the occupancy is not complete 1, it is only half. So instead of 21.000, it is only 20.5.000. So this is part 1. Let's fit it. This nitrogen should be here. This oxygen should be here. This is here. Now I can move a little bit with the help of mouse so that it is almost fitted nicely. Yes, this is okay. So now escape and let's refine with control R. Okay, so after refinement, you can see the electron density is appearing in between the oxygen. So this should be the probably second site of the disordered nitrate. For that I am using part 2, free variable minus 2 and occupancy is minus 20 and half. Now fit. So this cubic should be the second site of nitrogen. This nitrogen is here, one of the oxygen here. Now you can see it is almost fitted nicely. So I am going to escape. If I am going to select these atoms and I press this button, now you can see all the restraint and constraint are already there. They are automatically written. And I am going to use the first uh, second free variable, initial value of the second free variable around 0.7, and this is part 1, 20.5 and part 2 minus 20.5 okay 
So let's refine with control R. It's refining and it's going to be nice. And refining again. Good. So it is settling down and this should be oxygen. And this oxygen only half occupied. So I'm making it oxygen. And then occupancy is only one and half. Let's refine. Refine. The R factor is getting down. Okay, the shift is also stabilizing slowly. Let's find one more time. So good. Okay. Now, uh, next step is the anisotropic refinement. For this, I am typing anis, and then this is disorder part. So I have to put some strong stent like rigu. I am selecting this and typing rigu. Okay. And then H add for addition of hydrogen, and let's refine. Yes, now the R factor is further down to 5.08%. And you can see there is some extra bond is appearing between these oxygen atoms. Select this bond and type del bond. This bond shouldn't be there. Yes, then refine. Good, it is settling down. And I expect this oxygen will form a hydrogen bond with this the oxygen of the nitrate. Let's refine so the shift gets zero ideally. No, it is not getting zero, it is fluctuating. Why it is fluctuating? Let's see. Oh, this oxygen is fluctuating. Okay, so what I have to do, I will constrain the hydrogen on this oxygen. For this, I am selecting all the three atoms and type affix three and enter and refine. Now I hope the Shift gets stabilized. Yes, it is settling now. The formula is like this, and now everything is green in this area, and the refinement is converged. And find one more time so the unit will match with the formula. Yes, now everything seems to be good. So this is part one. And this is part two. And all part. So now I want to see the value of the second free variable refined. For this I am selecting any two atoms from the different part. And press this button. The second free variable refined to. 0.5064, which is very near to 0.5. So the two nitrate sites are approximately 50 50. So if I am going to delete this nitrate and I refine the occupancy with 50 50, then this is the other way to refine this nitrate. For this, let's delete it first. Delete, then refine. Okay, let's uh, make the two peaks a little bit larger for a better visualization. For this, I am using a zoom. Now, good. And let's refine for the shift value. Yes, it's good. Compact it. So, now I know the two sides are 50 50 occupied. So, what I have to do now, I can refine the Occupancy is with 50 50 percent, and I am no there is no need to use the second variable pre variable now. For this, what I have to do, I will use part one pre variable one and occupancy 0 0.25. Let's fit so sorry, this nitrogen should be here. This oxygen should be here, and 
remaining I will do with the mouse. Now it is almost fitted. It will not fit exactly because this nitrate is not ordered, this is disordered. So escape and let's refine first. So now you can see the electron density appearing in between these oxygen. So let's refine the second side with part 2, free variable 1, occupancy is 0 0.25. Let's fit. Uh, let's fit this nitrate nitrogen on the exactly this nitrogen and I will move the oxygen like this so the oxygen will come in between the oxygen of the first part now I will move this nitrogen a little bit shift key okay so now it seems to be good Yes, now it's okay. Now escape. And now what I have done, just select the both part and press this button. Now you can see in part 1, 10.25 and 10.25. So I'm not using any free variable, second free variable. Now come to work and again refine. So it is refining and this cubic should be oxygen let's make it oxygen only half occupied oxygen let's refine so it's getting stabilized slowly yes this is a better view i think let's zoom first yes now it's good mm -hmm. Uh, it is generating some extra bond. Select this bond and del bond and refine. Now it seems to be good enough. Now select all these atoms, put anis, let's put cubic off, then select all these atoms, I'll put rigo. Uh, Restraint the thermal of the oxygen and nitrogen of the nitrate and lattice water and then put H add and let's refine. So it is fine to 4.78 percent, that's nice. Let's put cubic on and refine. So now you can see. The hydrogen of the oxygen are not in the direction of this oxygen for the hydrogen bond. Let's delete them, these two hydrogens, and again add the hydrogen. Now it seems to be in the right direction. Now refine. Refine one more time. Okay, so these uh, oxygen are not hydrogen are not still in the right direction for this uh, what I have to do I delete once again and let's refine okay let's let's add now it seems to be in the right direction refine So it is fluctuating. So what I have to do, I have delete them. Then I will add the hydrogen, and I will select all these atoms and put the restraint at fix three, and let's refine. Now it is further fluctuating. Okay, so no problem. I will uh, fit this hydrogen in some other tutorial. Okay, 
now it is fine right Ooh, okay now the r factor is 4.78 percent and some reflections are actually getting off so if i am going to the info bad reflection so i have delete the reflection with esd uh, more than five i am omitting and defines once again yes now it is r factor is further improved and i have to delete this extra bond with del bond control r now the statistics are much better and improved let's go to work and then do a final refinement now everything seems to be right and they are looking nice yes nice it is nicely settled refinement is converged okay so i put the two picks off and i press grow and this is the complete molecule which is a hexa coordinated nickel duple nickel two plus complex Shoots. and now the everything is looking nice and everything is settled everything seems to be green good it is nice what is fluctuating okay this nitrogen okay no problem we find one more time now everything is very nicely settled i hope this helped and thanks for watching the video